In this video, we will be looking at the application in control for the NEC SV9100. In control is a web application that allows people to better manage resources. Those resources can be people or hardware. I'm going to be showing you three use cases in this demo where in control will help you make better decisions and provide evidence to back up your decision. In control has many other benefits than these examples, but I'm limiting this video to a brief overview. First, we'll follow a call as it moves through the conversation. Second, we will take a look at some departmental summary reports to help mine information. Lastly, we will look at whether our system has enough call paths to support our call volume. So let's get started. One day, you call one of your best customers, only to find out they are no longer your customer. This upgrade cycle, they bought from a competitor. When asked why they didn't give you the opportunity to bid on the upgrade, they tell you they tried to. They tell you they called and ended up in someone's voicemail. They left a message to call back, but nobody did. Their rationale was that if you're too busy, maybe they should look elsewhere, and they did. So now you want to find out who dropped the ball. By running the phone number details report on their phone number, you can locate the call and the person that got the voicemail. Let's run that report. So we log into in control and here's the phone number details report. We know that the person called sometime last week. We know their phone number. And we click Next. We want to look at duration, extension, and extension name, so we'll leave all of the columns checked. Here on the summary, we can go back and make changes, but everything is the way we want it, so we can click Run. We see this customer called in several times last week. This is the record we want to view, which is the last time the customer called us. If we follow the call from left to right, we can see that the call rang for 13 seconds, was answered by Charlie at extension 2938, and talked for 42 seconds. Charlie put the caller on hold for 29 seconds. He then retrieved the call and talked for another five. The call was transferred to Sam at extension 2970, where it rang Sam's phone for 18 seconds. The call forwarded into Sam's voicemail, where the caller was in the voicemail box for 38 seconds. Considering that Sam's voicemail greeting is only a few seconds long, we can assume the caller did leave a message in Sam's voicemail. Let's say you want to look at your sales department's call activity. One of the best predictors of future pipeline backlog is making sure that there is sufficient phone prospecting activity to keep the pipeline full. Rather than wait until it is too late to coach a salesperson, let's keep on this weekly. We can do that by scheduling a weekly report emailed to me showing me last week's call summary of the sales department. Let me show you how easy it is to set this up. Let's run the extension summary by department report. Now if I wanted to schedule this I would just click the radio button here, 
choose whether or not I want it to be a PDF or a CSV file, and enter my email address. Maybe it would be a good idea to include the sales department in this email. When someone knows their activity is monitored, they tend to overcompensate for it, and that brings future success. Now I'm going to run this report live just so you can see what it looks like. So we'll choose last week. Let's choose sales and marketing. We'll keep all the columns pre-selected. The summary looks good, so let's run the report. So here's a summary report of each of my salespeople. I can see the inbound, outbound, internal calls, which are intercom calls, total, I can see the total duration, and I can see the average duration per call. Now when I run this report live, if I need to see additional information, these are hot links where I can drill down to see Charlie's activity if I see something that just doesn't seem right. And here's a report on Charlie's activity for last week. Are you worried you don't have enough trunks and some callers are getting busy? Or are you paying for too many? Well, let's run the trunk utilization report and see. Now maybe you should schedule this and run it and email it to you monthly. If your business is growing, at some point, you'll start to run into busy problems. But for this example, I'll just run the report. Let's use a custom date range. We'll go all the way back to the first of the year. And the business closes at 5 o'clock, so there's no sense showing until 6. We're going to take a look at the SIP trunks connected to the system. We want to see utilization. Our summary data looks good, so let's run the report. Well, this table tells me everything I really need to know, this report is much better represented as a chart. Here we can see by each hour of the day how many trunks total have been used. The graph stops at 6, which is the maximum number of trunks we have in this trunk group. So as we can see, there are four times during the day when we had a maximum of four trunks in use. Had we shown times where six were in use, you may want to consider adding more trunks. I probably wouldn't remove any trunks. This will give you a little bit of growing room. However, let's say instead of six trunks, you had 20. It would certainly give you a good case for reducing the number of trunks that you've got and saving yourself some money. I hope this video gave you some ideas as to the type of data that you can mine out of the InControl application for the NEC SV9100. Thank you for watching.